Delamere, is that how you pronounce your name? Yes. Good. Depending on the pun within my Edinburgh show, I will call it Delamere. Delamere Mortal is my first one. Mm -hmm. And then I called one Creme Delamere. Oh, right. So I have slightly bastardised. I apologise to my father. It changes a bit, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this year it's... Uh, Mere. De- Delamere, because the name of your show is... Delamere Mortal. Delamere Mortal. Now, is that a a title that you were, you gave to it quite early on, not knowing what was going to be in it? God, or? No, no, I sat down and talked to many. <laughs> yes, you're right, 100% right. That's, that's called, what I like to call it, a February title for a show that doesn't exist yet. Like, Absolutely. So it's like trying to name a baby when you don't know the sex of the baby, so you decide, <laughs> I'm going to call it Dermot, and then a girl comes out, and then it's awkward for the rest of its life. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it pretty much is, yeah. Right. I had, a, I had a fair idea what the show was going to be about, though. Okay, so... Um, we, is, is that kind of rare? Do you normally... Is it normally kind of... It gets to Last July minute. and... Uh, well, I kind of tour uh, kind of from October to um, kind of March. So whatever show you're touring there, the new ideas are kind of slowly seeping in. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, like osmosis or, or rising damp, depending on the quality of the material <laughs> yeah, itself. Yeah. So you kind of have a fair idea. Hopefully, hopefully by March or April you'd have a fair idea. Mm-hmm. I had a fair idea this time what sort of framework I wanted to use for the show because it was very specific. Okay. Yeah. So what's the, what's the framework this year? What are well, you... uh, this year it's, uh, it's um, footage from a 1995 schools quiz that I was seeing on, on Irish television. Okay. So <laughs> I knew that that was going to be the kind of thread throughout the show. You know? Well, because this was your TV debut because you've done, you've done a lot of TV since, yeah, especially in yeah, Ireland. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so, so this was, was this your first? This was the first ever time on television <laughs> horrifically nervous uh, and you can hear it in my throat you can hear it in my voice mm. and um, uh, yeah and it's, it's kind of bizarre because be, I've gone on to become friends with the guy who's the host oh really yeah just because you do lots of stuff in a small market in Ireland and uh, looking back at it it's very very odd and it's very enlightening I would hope illuminating mm-hmm. because if it's not illuminating it's essentially just a man showing you you know, school school pictures. That's essentially <laughs> what it is. Like, if it's not funny, it's just, look what I look like. <laughs> so hopefully, yeah, people find it enlightening. So, so was it the first time you 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 came back to it for the first time yeah, in a pretty, little while? Pretty much, yeah, yeah, yeah. For for a long time, I had a clip of it. On, on a DVD a long time ago, but I, ha- I had not sat down in, in, in such great detail and gone through it frame by horrifically <laughs> embarrassing frame. Well, that's the thing. If you've got to find comedy in it, you've got to study it really closely. Yeah, yeah. And my friend as well, I, I interviewed all the guys uh, who were on both the school teams at the time just to see how, if they've changed in the, in the intervening 16, 17 years, you know. That was kind of the, the idea of the show. And um, one of my friends said, um, yeah, of course, you know, you realise you were, you were on it the year before and I'd forgotten that entirely. Oh, right. I, I had blanked it my memory so I have to go and seek that out which is an even younger more embarrassing version of me so the, I, I, I can't put that back into the you know Pandora's oh. box has been opened <laughs> so do both of them feature in the show the yeah two? yeah right. yeah. but uh, one only kind of briefly because um, just for a simple logistics thing we weren't wearing uniforms in one so I don't want to kind of uh, to I confused the picture too much but yeah it's mainly just one episode you know? mm. mainly because mainly you didn't get very far <laughs> sorry about that it would have been great if you'd gone on a run because you would have had loads of shows to pick from and that's that. true but uh, yeah. sadly no <laughs> just just the one yeah, and then you apparently were... Bob Marley is a musician who's famous for reggae and not jazz okay. as one of us said <laughs> that's one of the clangers is one it? of the clangers in the that wasn't me <laughs> oh right yeah. okay so you are you're you can be a bit more confident about telling people about that yeah, one, yeah, yeah. if it's not you. And how's it going? I mean, uh, it's going. Yeah, it's going well. It's really, really good. Fun, so you're at the it. assembly. No, no, I'm at the uh, well, pleasant. Ah, I'm just uh, st- stealing random. Ah, uh, I see. I see so you've pleasant. got your pleasants. You've yes. got your. You've got your assembly. Oh, I'm very much a, a, a pass whore. <laughs> I just, um, I just collect them randomly. Well, who wouldn't be? So, so where are you? Sorry, yeah, pleasants yeah. at uh, nine o'clock mm-hmm. in, in uh, above. So it's great because Edinburgh is, uh, in many ways, it's kind of about consistency. You know, you just keep coming back and you, you get repeat business. And um, I suppose the really the thing I think is the, mo- is the most important thing about Edinburgh, apart from having a good time and having a, a good show and all the rest, is you just kind of have to remove the gamble for for punters. You know, because yeah. they come up here and they've no idea. Uh, there's like there's what two, three thousand shows. So exactly, either they see you on TV, they see a previous year's show, or they're really good of you, or they get word of mouth, and all those things kind of remove the gamble for them going to see you. And all you do is you just hope that every year that you remove the gamble for a few more people and build up the audience, and that's it, really. And you feel like you are building. You kind of oh feel, yeah. I mean, because were you here last year? I was here. Yeah, I've done. Um, uh, t- I did 2007, 
eight, nine. I was away for a year and then eleven, twelve. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. it builds it builds every year and it's more fun every year. And this year I'm in the same flat. And I'm in the same venue. It feels same, familiar. You know, yeah, it feels familiar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jokes are the same. No, they're not. And, um, <laughs> so it's it's really enjoyable so far. Mm, I mean, how is it? Because you're really quite well known in Ireland in well in my head you are right, okay. I mean I, I'm, I'm not very Irish very presence on the, on, the, on, the, on the internet I can convince anybody of anything I mean are you I mean are you quite I'm well I, known there's no right way to say it see I'm Irish so therefore yeah. if I am well known I can't possibly say that <laughs> I um, some people I'd be, I would be able to tour shall we say right, right? so some people yeah. would be familiar with the stuff I've done yeah. so how is it coming to coming to Edinburgh yeah. or coming you know to the UK is it is it a different experience you've oh, kind of, of course Prove yeah. yourself a bit more. Uh, well, I suppose um, people. First of all, the stuff is all road tested mainly in Ireland, you know. So you yeah. find the differences and the little nuances and subtleties and difference between kind of the sensibilities of UK people. And kind of like coming to Edinburgh is not coming to the UK. Uh, right, Edinburgh yeah. is its own little so a little hub bubble. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you could have anybody in the audience of any ethnicity, of any first language, you know. So okay, by and large, it's kind of it's it's, it's Edinburgh people and. and but um, it's, if a show works in Edinburgh consistently, it works anywhere. You know? <laughs> oh, really? Oh, right. I think so. This is the acid test. I think, yeah, a blue or red litmus test, and, uh, <laughs> depending on which you... Yeah, absolutely. I, I yeah. Think that's definitely it. Because you've ironed out any sort of local references, you've ironed out anything that's just hitting a kind of a nostalgia point. It has to just really mm. be of a... Uh, of, uh, Common experiences. It has to be comedy at, at its core, I guess. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. yeah. But it's, if you're well known somewhere, or even, not even well known, but if you're well known enough for the people in the, who are coming to see you to know you, you kind of have an advantage to be playing to them. Exactly. Literally, mm-hmm. uh, not literally, almost literally, um, preaching to the converted. Whereas mm-hmm. you're in Edinburgh in front of people who don't know anything about you, then you have to start from zero again, which is, uh, i tell you what it does, it tells you if the joke is actually funny. <laughs> That's what it does. It's you the, know, it's the no, surefire song. Yeah, there's no vestiges of, oh, he was funny before, so he must be funny now. <laughs> this is, is this funny? Yes, it is. Or, no, try again. So you were saying with the Irish uh, audiences, mm. you've got to, uh, is it, are they more open to lots of different different things that are, and you can be more risque or I don't think I don't think it's necessarily that I just think cultural it's, I think it's uh, if you are of a place and a people and a time and um, say if you're winging it with them like you don't even have to check the reference slightly in the back of your head you don't you know we are all familiar with the same things you know mm, so yeah. here it's um, it's just you have to just move outside that kind of mm. comfort zone and uh, it's it's a good thing to do I think. <laughs> you know? like ask me again in 25 days yeah. well, I, think oh. I think it's a great thing yeah I mean are you you're immersed in your in your own little bubble at the moment. Here, is it yes. still at that? Uh, every night I go home and watch uh, seventy two, which is uh, three version, three episodes of twenty four. That's what I do every. <laughs> like there's eight series of that, so that's that's me done. So yeah, I'm in my own little bubble. I haven't started looking at shows yet, which is yeah. what I really enjoy doing here as well. Because mm. all of human life is in this place. <laughs> to the extent that if you see anything weird here I saw a woman with a ferret at 3 o'clock in the morning and I just said to a friend of mine what's that? and he just went fringe fringe <laughs> and the fringe would explain all sorts of mental behaviour you know and I think a, a fringe visit isn't complete without something crazy like something that something like a ferret yeah I think you know Burke and Hare were killing people and our body snatching at, at the moment nobody would say anything somebody just got it's probably just this is venue forty five. <laughs> it's, it's just a show. You can get away with anything. Yeah, you pretty much can. Yeah, yeah. It's that sort of festival, which is why I think people love it and people I think keep it'd coming be a great back. Idea. I, actually, it'd be a great time to murder somebody during the fringe, mm. genuinely, because what you do is I would just take a picture of their body, um, uh, and just if you had flyers, if you yeah. were going to stab somebody, right? Right. Take, take a picture of them as they were alive. But, and then photoshop the blood onto it and then stab them right and then if you were then found by anybody you just hand out the pre-prepared flyer which would look like them stabbed and then people would just think that you know it was it was genuinely a fringe show <laughs> well you've, you've definitely found don't something don't kill anybody there. by the way please don't try <laughs> that's and kill that's not anybody. a tip it's just something I thought of now I don't, I'm not encouraging mass murder <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this. It's a pleasure. And your show again is at the Pleasant... At 9 o'clock, Pleasant's Above. Which way? Pleasant's Above. Tell more. Like, can I just say, it has taken every single ounce of willpower not to eat all your biscuits. Well, <laughs> you, oh, no, no one's you turn had off a biscuit those cameras, yet. That'll be gone. Take, take, take a biscuit. No, no, I'm going to... You're, you're going to wait. You don't want to be judged. Not going to wait. <laughs> not going to wait. Thank Look, a man much. being murdered. Look. <laughs>